What's going on everybody? Welcome to Mountain Vibes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Then we can miss any future release content I have here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering how ski boots are actually sized and what different measurements are taken into account to help find a proper fitting boot for you. Having said that though, I do highly recommend that you actually go see a professional boot fitter. They're going to be able to make the buying process significantly easier for you by matching up your skiing ability, your foot shape with a proper fitting boot. Now, there's a couple of different things you need to keep in mind when you're actually sizing a ski boot. The first thing is that a ski boot on average will fit a full size smaller than your actual street shoe. So you have to keep in mind that it will be a little bit snugger and you have to get used to having a slightly closer fit. And as well, there is no true half size in a ski boot. Yes, you'll see 25, 5, 26, 5, 27, 5, but you will not find 25, 26, or 27. Now, when it comes to determining the length of your ski boots, they are not done in US, UK, or European. They are done in a size that was referred to as Mondo. Now, Mondo is pretty much how long your foot is in centimeters and is often measured with something similar to this. This is what is referred to as a Brannock device. This is gonna give the ski boot fitter a better representation of how long your foot actually is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, with there being no true half size in a ski boot, let's say what happens if your foot is like just grazing 26, or you're getting really close to that, that size. What I highly recommend is at least attempt to try on the smaller size first. Yes, it is gonna be a little bit tighter than most likely than what you're used to, but once that boot breaks in, it's gonna actually fit very well, and it's gonna give you the control and the comfort that you actually want. If you're not quite going over 26, there's no reason for you actually to go up a full shell size. Because once you go up a full size, not only are you gaining a full centimeter in length, you're actually gaining a little bit of extra width and a little bit of height over the instep on your foot as well. Now, along with the actual length of your foot, another big key sizing element that we need is how wide your foot is. This is gonna determine the last of the boot. Now, lasts are gonna be stated in millimeters. You'll often see them in either 98, 100, 102, or 104 millimeters. Or in some other cases, you might just see it stated in low volume, mid volume, or high volume. Now, lasts are gonna be determined off of a reference size of 26.5. So if you look at this chart here, you'll notice that every time you go up or down a size in a, in a boot, you'll be either gaining or losing two millimeters. So let's say if you have been told that your foot is 104, 106 millimeters wide. If you have a longer foot, you do not need to go into a wide fitting boot because that width is actually average for the length of your foot. Now, if you have an actual shorter length for your foot and it is still very wide, then yes, you will need a wider fitting boot to accommodate that extra width. And then one other thing that's factored in and that's gonna be how high your, or low your instep is. You know, if you have a very high instep, then yes, you need a little bit more volume to accommodate that height. You don't necessarily want having something that fits a lot smaller, being able to crush the top of your foot, cutting off the circulation. And as well, if you have a much lower foot or much lower instep, you're gonna to wanna to be in a much smaller fitting boot. You wanna make sure that your foot is actually gonna be able to be locked in place. You do not wanna have a lot of extra space. You don't have a lot of extra movement. It's gonna create a whole new set of problems, mainly let's say blisters or cramping because you're having a hard time locking your foot in place. Now, let's say if you're an individual who doesn't necessarily have access to being able to go to an actual ski shop and see an actual boot fitter to get the proper sizing. One thing you can actually do is like, you would actually take a piece of paper and draw your foot out on something similar like this. Then you're gonna take the measurement from the longest part of your foot, and then that's gonna get that in centimeters. That's gonna be how long the boot is. And then in the widest part of your foot, you're gonna get this measurement here, and this is gonna get this one in millimeters. That's gonna determine the last or how wide the boot is going to be. So as far as my foot is concerned, my foot measures 25 and a half or just over 25 and a half on this one. And then in terms of the width, it's around 98, 99 millimeters. So if you were to look at that reference chart that I put up earlier, you'll see that the 98 millimeter last is actually falls into the average width for the length of my actual foot. Therefore, my shell is going to be a 25.5 with a mid volume. That's it for me for today, everybody. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Please, if you have any questions, leave down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are not already. Support your local ski and snowboard shop. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next video.